Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16, just moments away. It is Chelsea, and they face Wigan Athletic. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Oh, here's the lineup for Wigan Athletic. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Thank you, Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the match. And now they get the ball rolling. Now well, the pass not finding its target. Jolly. Fruitful looking attack. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, four goals in his last three games. He's in superb form. He's going to be really hard to stop. The defenders need to be on their game. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. The rumours are true. He is going to end his wonderful career at the end of this season. And what a loss for the club, that is bound to be, Lee. Well, legend is a very overused word in my book, in football, but this guy deserves that label. Well, it leads to the goal that puts them ahead. And the keeper would have been disappointed had he not dealt with it. And Chelsea win the corner. Well, he'd be disappointed about that end product, but he'd be happy they're creating a chance or two. And he's fired over the corner. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. I believe there's been a goal in the Spurs game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Individual quality coming to the fore. Willis, Jolly. Dele Alley, and it's with Mireille, Doyle, well they must exercise caution standing off as they are, well that's very smart defending and now they have the ball again, Doyle, Dele Alley. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And a throw-in it's going to be. Others to play it to. Doyle, wonderfully weighted pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Old Trafford. Who has scored that goal? Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester United. 30 minutes played, 1-0. He's got to score! 
Blue is the colour. Chelsea have gone and scored. Attack after attack. Sooner or later, you're going to score a goal. And they are back underway. Chelsea with the advantage. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Williams. And that's an important intervention. Deli Alley now. Doyle. Chelsea getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? And we can bring you news of a goal now in the match at Old Trafford. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester United. 41 minutes played. 2 0. Many thanks, Alan. Ozim Hen. And he was in the right place to intercept. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Might really be able to trouble them here. The Tremendously the strong in the tackle. Two minutes. And, and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Doyle. Oh, nice ball over the top to Chase. Excellent ball towards the front post. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And now the delivery. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. He's given it straight to the opposition. Deli Alley now. Doyle. Deli Alley. Passing it with a bit of panache. Veering in field here. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Now he must favour the cross. Well, something has happened at the Emirates Stadium. A goal has been scored. Alan McAdally. It's a third goal for Arsenal. 51 minutes played. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Pulisic now. Good-looking sequence. The defender doing his job. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Pulisic now. And scope for the cross. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Chelsea taking on Brighton. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. And Pulisic has it. And crossed in there. He does have pressure to deal with. What an important piece of defending. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Getting news of a goal in the Spurs match. Alan McAvaly. It's another goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 62 minutes played. 4-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Pulisic. Must score! Well, he had designs on a double, but the goalkeeper wasn't having it. Well, he did better than the first time, the goalkeeper. What a save that is.
Corner kick played in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Elia. Tierney. Well, the back pages and social media are chock full of transfer rumours, but there does appear to be something behind this. Lee, what do you make of it? Yeah, if the media and the papers are believed, they've made an official bid. Not surprising, really, he's a top player. There's been rumblings for a while now. I guess we're likely to find out over the next... And he takes on the shot. And Chelsea have done it! It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, just look at this. Just look at the strength. Just look at the determination. Fending players off and a brilliant finish too. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Jolly. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Losing possession. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Substitution time it is. And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. Over the touchline for a throw in. News of a goal at the Emirates, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Arsenal. Seven minutes remain, 4 0. Many thanks, Alan. They've regained possession. Doyle. Chelsea finding forward gears. Can they take advantage of this promising position? Surely! Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique, brilliant. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Just a couple of minutes left for play. And that's an important intervention. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Of three minutes. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. And so the end of this particular contest, the end of this particular tie, and it's good news for Chelsea fans everywhere because Chelsea are the side to progress. Well, Derek, it was almost a mismatch. They still had to get the job done, though, but not too much trouble seeing that bunch off. On with the go.
Sussex by the sea. Always an inviting prospect. Welcome everyone to the Amex Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Chelsea. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here. Really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. This could be end to end. We could get goals today, Derek. Well, there's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. And the reports have been confirmed. He will, in fact, end his career at the end of the season. No two ways about it, Lee. A big loss for the club. Well, absolutely. They've got to fill that gap. More to the point, what's he going to do next season? Probably sit back, reminisce about his glorious time here. A fabulous player, a real winner. Team selected for Brighton and Herb Albion. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Thank you. Enjoy. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And the match begins. And given away. Doyle. He has teammates to play it to. A low-driven ball. Cleared away comprehensively. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Well, it's tight at the top. An extreme useful-looking ball. Promising sequence. Not messing around with that clearance. Doyle. Hudson-Odoi. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man. Lee, what are you anticipating seeing from him? Well, he's got all sorts going on for him, this player. Trickery, I don't mind that. I can play against trickery. Pace is a bit more of a problem. As soon as you've got a player like that, you now have to manage him a lot, lot closer. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Jean-Philippe Mateta. Anton Miranchuk. Going well. A good and fair challenge. Ozim Hen. Doyle. And Pulisic has it. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. Well, he's lost it. Well, getting right in their opponent's faces, forcing that hurried clearance, and a throw it'll be. And the cross is very much on. Pulisic must score. Straight forward for the keeper. Here's Keros. Now just couldn't keep the ball. Let's get an update from Goodison Park, where there's been a goal. Alan McAnally can tell us about it. It's a goal for Everton. 32 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. 
And he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's little between these two teams. It's been a real tight, cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Moving the ball effectively. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Doyle. Pulisic. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And attempting the through ball. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark in attack in this game, Lee. Well, as we can see, he's been in and out of this game. Not like him, to be fair. All will be forgiven if he gets the winner, though. He's driven in the corner. Clattered away. Doyle. Now, this might pay dividends. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Added time. It needs an accurate cross. This looks promising. Might really be able to trouble them here. And threading it forward. Just couldn't capitalise there. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Really interesting second half in store, and Chelsea get things going. Pulisic now. Ozim Hen. Looks promising this. I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Old Trafford. Who has scored that goal? Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester United. 49 minutes played. 3-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Oh, goodness gracious me! It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, I think the players realise what they owe this coach. Lovely sight to see them celebrating with him. Well, let's have a look at it again. He catches the keeper asleep, back on his heels. He wasn't expecting a shot from that distance, and neither was I. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So the game has restarted, and Chelsea are the team with the lead. Going well. The cross is on. It's there for him. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here it is again, Derek. And when the ball goes in wide areas, sometimes defenders struggle to stop the crosses. They did on that occasion. And in the end, it's poor defending. But the ball's ended up in the back of the net. Victor Ozimhen. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Leeds United. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Possession stats for Chelsea, pretty good. But really, possession doesn't score your goals. You need to be a little bit more forceful in front of goal. They need to get the shots away. Now we have a plethora of live matches coming up for you here on EA TV. This one, I think, might pique your curiosity. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be. It's got to be! And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. I believe there's been a goal in the Leicester City game. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Leicester City. 
70 minutes played, 3-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Rob them. Crossing possibilities. And he takes on the shot. Wonderful block. Anton Miranchuk. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Grujic. Here's Grujic. Diogo Dallo. Receiving news of a goal in the United match, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Manchester United. Eight minutes remain, 4-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Jean-Philippe Mateta. So a throw in to Chelsea. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. A good and fair challenge. Grujic. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Uh, on the scent of a winner late in this game. Accurate ball and draws the near post. Well, he took care of it defensively. And the referee blows for full time. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. The tension is really building in the UEFA Europa League. We're into the round of 16. I certainly can't wait for this league. Yeah, second round of knockout stages. The players and fans can see the final somewhere in the distance, but huge amount of work to be done before then.
So the initial 11 for the home side. Now, there has been some discussion about the style of play. Some would argue it's on the negative side. What realistically should we expect, Lee? Yeah, they do tend to collapse when they don't have the ball. They sit off the opposition, almost inviting pressure onto them before trying to open up when they do have the ball. I don't think we'll see any changes today in that approach. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. It's with Ndika. Mount. Brandt. And the ball's gone. And he really is danger personified. But in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, when I look at a player I'm playing against, the first thing I look at is how quick is he. And if he is quick, if he's got pace, I have to play him a certain way. That's my first objective, stop him getting the ball so he can use that pace. do like to press whenever they can a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in it's been well nigh impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of the game the rumors are true he is going to end his wonderful career at the end of this season and what a loss for the club that is bound to be Lee well legend is a very overused word in my book in football but this guy deserves that label He'll be sadly missed next season for sure. How do they make up for him not being there? Looks like the transfer window for me. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Looks promising this. Now can he deliver accurately? Must score! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here we see a better angle on it. There's nothing the keeper can do. A significant deflection, and he's beaten. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. So the game has restarted, and Chelsea are the team with the lead. Mount in full control of the ball here and they'll get ready for the throw in Matias Saraccio it's with Ndika a chance to whip it in of the referee and maybe they'll be able to level this up this is dispiriting so much of a good work could go down the drain penalty chance for an equalizer and a red card no oh, Derek when you get your noses in front consolidate don't make silly mistakes they've made a big one there and in it goes as coolly as you like never in any doubt from the spot Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot, he didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Deli Ali needed to be a better ball than that.
Brandt. Mount. Can they get in behind them? And dispossessed. And providing width. The cross is on. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Deli Ali. Doyle. And the danger clear. Pulisic. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Deli Ali. Oh, a vital interception. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Now, Eder Militao. Read it magnificently and intercepted. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Deli Ali now. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he cuts inside. And with that, the first half draws to a close. First leg of this Europa League round of 16 tie. And the second half has commenced. An unforced error, you've got to say. Fruitful looking attack. And the cross fired over, but no real central pressure applied. It might be on for them. Brandt! Almost what you might call a jaw dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. Short corner it is. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And short it is. The delivery. Well, the keeper certainly didn't want to gamble with that. And a corner it'll be. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, he stepped up to the plate to get that goal to put his team on equal terms. Can he produce a winner in this second half? Let's find out. Victor Ozimhen. Diogo Dallo. Dele Alli. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Action from the quarterfinals of the FA Cup coming your way on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Brentford. Yeah, you do have to be careful as a player. You don't let your mind wander too far ahead. Semi finals are just round the corner. That's going to be a cracker, Derek. Eder Militao. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And options in the centre. A very effective clearance. Matias Zaraccio. Brandt. Julian Brandt. Can he give them the lead? And this time, it's in! Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike! Having conceded then, it's up to Chelsea to articulate a response. Doyle. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Mount.
Head down Mitty Tau. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Doyle. And possession lost, intercepted. Saraccio. And the emphasis is on creativity. Matias Saraccio. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. He has plenty of support. And the cross goes in. Thumped clear. Doyle. And that's an important intervention. Well, they worked so hard here to be in front, and that's been recognised by the supporters. They just need an incisive pass. Great opportunity. And a goal. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Saracho. And there it is, the referee blows for full time. And my goodness, no wonder these home fans are ecstatic. Still, there is a job to do. Looks promising this.